We're out here today in a Nomo fescue lawn planting area and we have meadow vole damage. They are decimating this, this ground cover and they're also starting to decimate these New Zealand flax or formium as they're also known. They're also going after these trees. So this is all, get this out of the way, this is all girdling damage. This is voles just chewing on the bark of this tea tree, a melaleuca. And this tree, as you can see, is now pretty much dead. It's dying. It's got severe dieback. Uh, to replace this tree, this is a 24 or 36 inch box tree. You're looking at $600 for the tree, and you're looking at labor of two persons for a whole day. So you're looking at voles, a little three inch long rodent causing one example of uh, $1,500 worth of damage and the time lost, right? Because replacing this tree when they're in a row like this, they need to match. You know, they go all the way down. They're gonna not match. The little baby tree is gonna come in and it's gonna look funny. So you've got the, the overall aesthetic of the landscape has been uh, ruined uh, to a large extent. Uh, these New Zealand flax, our uh, favorite food of gophers and voles. There's one over here. Well, this one's gone. There's a, there's a bubbler and some old stumps. Uh, this is what the voles have left behind. We see New Zealand flax just collapse because the voles come up underneath the bulb and they eat it from the inside and the fronds all fall off. Uh, this goes on and on. There's about 50,000 or so square feet of this ground cover here. And this ground cover is common all around the Bay Area. And meadow voles are moving in to this ground cover. See that hole right there? That's just one meadow vole burrow entrance. I mean, it's amazing you can even see with the camera here how many Holes there are and there's just thousands of voles here if I stand here for a little while you'll see them just start running from hole to hole to hole what they do between that is just munch on grass and have babies meadow voles have about five to six babies every 30 days during their breeding season and they breed all the time 